Okay, Battlefield of Eternity. Whew. Battlefield of Eternity, of course, is a very special background. Uh, it makes certain heroes, like, a lot more powerful. It makes other heroes a lot less impactful. So, heroes like Gremion, for example, incredibly powerful. Strong basic attacks against the Immortal cause it to fall rapidly. Uh, so that might be a good first ban. Tastingo, of course, knows exactly what's up. Tastingo, of course, is a very, very sick player. Uh, Spellbreaker Johanna today, maybe. I think if we get new skins, we're gonna get them uh, with the new patch that introduces Ariel as well. Today is just the PTR, so I'm not sure if Blizzard is gonna release a new skin alongside the PTR, but it could be possible. Smexy Volleyball Leaming, oh yeah! That is also gonna be a must-have. Speaking of uh, Volleyball Leaming, there is the real Leaming, the Star Princess Leaming. Okay. What are we gonna pick here? Battlefield of Eternity, still many powerful heroes to be obtained. Sylvanas, of course, is great. I'm just gonna assume that it actually makes it through. So we probably need a support here, powerful support. There's, of course, Karazim. You can also go to Ronda. Toronto Miranda. I think that works. Toronto, very powerful here, of course, because of her uh, Hunter's Mark. Allows her to amplify all damage dealt to the Immortal. It's quite strong, actually. So, if we happen to be a solo support Toronto, we will go for Shadow Stalk. Although, Starfall can be really powerful as well to zone enemies away from the Immortal. Uh, we shall see how the game goes. If we notice that the game is going extremely well, we can go for Starfall, even if we are a solo support to Rande. If we see that the game is going, you know, not so well, or if both teams are fighting on equal footing, Shadowstalk is definitely more reliable, and we would go for that then. Uh, Tactabig asks, opinion on Uther? I think he's fantastic. Um, you know, large parts of the pro scene consider Uther to be inferior to Regar and Karazim, for example. Um... I think that's okay to say for the pro scene, but I think for Hero League, uh, in your normal average game, uh, Uther is really, really good. Of course, Uther has that major weakness where he isn't really as powerful against AoE damage compared to other supports. Um, but if you need single target protection, he's your man. And also, if you need a good solid support overall, you cannot go wrong with Uther. Um, so yeah, definitely a thumbs up. Make sure to keep an eye out for the W build these days. Um, I played it a lot quite myself here, and I really think the W build has what it takes to become the new go-to build. Um, a lot of talent, talents have been changed, of course, ever since the latest rework, and um, I, I think Blizzard did a really good job at fixing or balancing Uther a little bit more. Nice, we really get Sylvanas? Holy cow! Turiel would also be a fantastic pick here, I think. But never mind, not being picked in. Tastingo goes for that Arthas. Also very good though, because now we have a double front line, and uh, these guys probably won't need need as, as much healing as say a Savannas or a Kelthas if they get focused. That's really good. You got all the elves. That is true. We got three elves. We got an undead forsaken elf. We got a night elf and a blood elf. Sick. The enemies have Tychus, double warrior. Um, is very susceptible to Tychus Burst. Uh, but overall, I think their team looks a little bit weaker. But we shall see. I mean, in terms of immortal damage, I think we definitely have the upper hand. Although Tychus is also not so bad against the immortal. But we shall see. I think it looks quite balanced on paper. Of course, if we manage to get our immortal unlocked, right? Then Sylvanas can single-handedly uh, swing the momentum and swing the game in our favor by disabling those structures making the Immortal more powerful, which is why Sylvanas is like a super strong pick on Battlefield in particular. Okay, Rhonda riding her little Hellbilly. And I think here... Mm, there's basically two options for us to go to. I think we're gonna go Ranger's Mark, simply because we want to damage the Immortal more frequently with that Hunter's Mark. Hi. Okay. So, the Tower Cheese, of course, uh, means that we go quickly towards their base with the Savannas. We try to snipe a tower um, while it's still disabled. Can't even talk about it. While it's still disabled. And that usually gives us a little bit of a lead in That's my boy. pushing later with the Immortals. Let's scout ahead if they are hiding behind the wall. Nope. Let's go for it. Okay. 
definitely want to burst it down as quickly as possible. Uh, hello? Vince Vincent had to take a lot of damage here because Sylvanas decided to go back. Okay, we took a little bit of damage here. That's okay for now. That was unnecessary. Early deaths, we don't want to take that early high damage onto our bodies. Just play a little bit more careful here. Also, Brightwing has superior sustain uh, in lane, so we should definitely not try to be so aggressive because Brightwing will just heal it back up. And before the first Immortal Phase, I'm actually going back for full mana. Yep, because I don't want to use the Healing Fountain too early, we want to save it uh, for the Flight Phase. While both Immortals are up in the air, you definitely want to use that Healing Fountain over there and recharge if you really have to. Go to the middle, guys. There we go. Nice damage. You can really see how fast the Immortal is dropping in health. Okay, good job. Uh, 500 health bonus, so we should be able to burst it down. Let's go for it, boys. Driving is not helping. We lost it? I can't believe it, dude. Tychus, of course, is very strong against Immortal as well, which is probably the reason why we lost it. Also, we got distracted by Diablo and Brightwing too much. That should not have happened, in my opinion. Yes, of course. A little bit crazy. Uh, I'm also not sure if I should be here, to be honest. It basically prevented Brightwing from teleporting down to the bottom. She still came down now. So the first defense was quite successful. Not I even uh, the towers were destroyed. So that's kind of cool. Oh, there's a zero tool. Careful. Alright, now it's time to take a sip. Yeah, Tyranny should not be the one uh, soloing here. Um, first of all, I'm the support, so I should be with the majority of the team here. And also, Taranda doesn't really have great wave clear, so it's a nice thing uh, that Tostingo actually came top. Uh, Arthas is much better suited for this task than Taranda. Nice interrupt here by Vince Vincent. Uh, yep. Oh man. Anyway, the enemies collapsed with a five man gang here. So uh, let's actually try to defend now. That of course gave them enough time to take those mercenaries and pressure the bottom lane even more. But yeah, there was no reason for us to have two people top here, I think. At least if you try to go um, all by yourself and uh, you want to wander around to a different lane, you gotta let your team know. So I would really encourage everybody to use pings a little bit more. Because losing others here now was also kind of unfortunate. And uh, now we're going to have to try to make the best of it. At least we're getting a little bit of a lead here. In terms of immortal damage, which is really good. Keep keep focusing the, uh, keep focusing the immortal, please. They're just trying to distract you guys. Okay, Zeratul is here now. Oh, man. Can we kill him? Okay, he paid for it at least. We're two people down though. We're two people down. We're still fighting close to the enemy immortal. Vince Vincent, careful. Careful, careful, careful. Run, 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 dude. Shooting an owl here. Okay, we have a lead in immortal damage, but that was once again kind of terrible here.
Very tool is here, careful. Okay, I, try. I got the zero tool here, guys. Kill him, kill him, kill him. Kill him, kill him. Nice. Really nice, really nice, guys. Keep it up. Nice. Really nice, guys. Keep up the great work. This was really, really good. That was a bad Luna Flare on my part. But at least we're killing the Immortal. And with Savannah's, of course, that's going to be really, really impactful. Also, great job by Vince Vincent on the Johanna. Blocking away the enemies, zoning them out. Uh, really, really good job. Um, now we need to make sure to push together. And uh, get maximum value from that Sylvanas. Okay, I'm just trying to check here whether someone needs uh, my help. Arthas is in the bottom, is in the top, excuse me. Once again, not a good Luna Flare. But good disabled by Savannah's. Really good job, guys. You are not even playing in hardcore. I thought Diablo or Zerto would engage on me here. Zerto goes super risky here. He uh, should definitely be punished for it. Nice. Nice. Spreading the love, spreading the bombs. And Tastingoniathus is joining the free. And the immortal is doing, doing his thing. Good job, guys. Uh, we're definitely gonna go Shadow Stop here. I think, um, like, I really think against their team that has quite a bit of engage, especially on that Zero Tool on Anti Diablo, we need to go for more healing. Not even sure if uh, Vince Vincent will make it out alive here. Where are you going? <laughs> okay. Okay. Everybody, press F to pay your respect. To Vince Vincent on that Johanna. He died like a brave man. Gave his life for the greater good. A void prison being used. What the beep? Oh, nice combo by the enemy team. Run away, run away, run away. But they don't have any heroics left now. Oh man, KT, he goes down with a fire! Triple kill! There we go, ladies and gentlemen, that was another heroic death. Press F to pay your respects to Mr. KT, Six City. Oh, we can get that Tychus, he's a little bit too greedy, I think. That's how we play, guys. Switch family is playing out of their minds. Super sick. Overflowing light, solo support. Always needed. You need those stronger heals, right? Okay, here we go. Uh, wait for the hunter's mark to, for everybody to be here. Otherwise, it's a little bit wasted. Okay, now we use it. Here we go. Want to make sure that all your allies are benefiting from uh, the hunter's mark bonus, you know? Nice. Everybody's playing together now. Everybody's rotating together. Really sick. The enemies should still have a long cooldown on some of the heroics, like Apocalypse, for example. I'm gonna shoot an owl just in case. We need to make sure to keep everybody in good shape. Oh man, I, I could have healed. I could have healed. Oh man, they ignored the warriors very well down here by the enemy team and now they came from behind and they paid back, wow. They paid back for good here. Did we have a silencing arrow to be honest? Ooh, Crimson Cold, I think it could have actually prevented uh, the enemy team from going so ham on us if we had used that arrow a little bit faster. So uh, next time we really want to make sure to uh, use all of our heroics in time.
Nice attack by the enemy team. The battle quickly. Uh, no, we won't make it in time, so go for the Murkan. Okay, it's still only a fort that they can potentially get out of this, so not really the biggest of issues here. The heavens shall try to the immortal as quickly as possible. Also, gonna keep my distance here this time. Also, gonna keep. Uh, okay, there we go. Bad get him this time, come on. Nice, good kill. Uh, Testingo might be in trouble here. He was a little bit too far cut off. There was a one for one trade. It's still alright. Oh, Diablo still wants to fight here? Basically, just wait until we're 16 and we get those empowered owls. Make sure to uh, catch up in mana here. While nobody's being pressured, nobody's being attacked, you always want to make sure to support them as a support and not while you're fighting or as you're about to fight, right? Uh, soak 16, guys, very important. Make sure to have at least one person in each lane. We're shooting out down to the mercenary camp. Careful, Mage, careful, Mage. Zeratron and Diablo are in the, in the bottom lane, we saw that. That feels much better. Zeratron's bottom still, careful. Okay, we see them. Quick the Murk Camp, just clear it. We're almost 16, boys. Almost 16. Having the empowered owls can be very important. Yep, okay, here we go. Okay, they're doing this. Can we uh, try to do something here? No, never mind. Go for the model. Once again, pay attention to a flank. Okay, the enemies actually did a good job. Defend now. Yes. Oh my, oh my god. This could be a disaster now. The only thing I could do is cast my ulti here. Wow. Well played. No. That might be game deciding. We shall see. I should basically cast my Shadow Stalk a little bit earlier, so the enemies will have a harder time to engage in us. Okay, that's the wrong target to focus on the enemy side. Can we kill that Diablo? Should be able to kill it, right? More or less still going to town though. Don't forget about that, guys. Okay, we kill one. Yep, yep, we need to save top. I agree. The enemy sort of pushed with the immortal here, I think. 
Still got the keep. Damn. Uh, we now want to make sure to uh, push the top lane or deep push the top lane a little bit. By the same token, though, they just got this Merc camp, so that means that they could possibly try to push in the bottom. Pretty sure the enemies are rooting top now. Yep, here they are. Back, 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 guys. Run, run, run. And I have to use my Shadow Stalk here to uh, help my allies retreat. Okay. That was actually okay. Arthas is not with us, guys. Just fall back. The enemies know that this is the most likely objective that we're going to fight at. Uh, the enemies are going to be 20 soon, though. Is there a tool? Enemies are still not 20. Okay. Stay together, guys. Stay together. You see them now. Levanus is not with us. This time they screwed up. Kill the drill. Nice! Quadra kill! There we go. Can we get that Tychus too? Never mind. Don't bother. Don't bother with this guy. I got you! Woo! Yeah! Nice, a nice job, Tostingo. Okay, this is our time to shine, guys. This is our time to shine. We're one keep down, and if we get that full immortal, we might even be able to finish the game. Uh, we're gonna go Storm Shield here in this game. We definitely need the AoE protection. Do it as quickly as possible. We don't have to teleport back to base right now because we will have two globes in the middle. Tastingo is still doing it because he's really low on mana. He's also going to push out, which is very smart. They flee before us. Okay, Kelfa is also doing, helping out in the regard, all right. And together, guys, together. Uh, good thing is that the Immortal is pushing our top lane, which is the weakened one. Uh, the enemies might actually rush uh, for a bottom keep here. I'm just gonna send an owl to scout ahead. No, they're trying to defend here. Okay. Nice. Okay, boys, stay together. We need to disable the fort. There we go. Don't let the Diablo engage on us. Arthas is trying to flank with the Sundragosa here, I think. Keeping everybody in good shape. Arthas is coming in now. Okay, there goes the Void Prison. Misused. Nice. The Cindergosa is doing so much work here, too. Here goes the keep. Immortal is still a good help. Nice. Can we still end? I'm not sure. Probably not. Probably not. He's just leaving. Careful. Just run now. 
Still a good push, guys. Still a good push. We gotta keep. We bounce out of the lanes once again, and we're dealing core damage. Really, really good. Good job, guys. Good job. Uh, take side lanes now. We can take two mercenary camps at the same time. Let's see, I don't want to go without Arthas. Never mind. Let's shoot an L towards their most likely location. Okay, we saw where they are. Of course. Let us capture this mercenary. On top, everybody. Uh, we also have to defend this then, because that's where they will be pushing. Okay, so they now have to defend the top lane. Okay, we see where they are. Yes, of course. So basically, the team that wins the next team fight wins the game. Ooh. Oh, are we wanna, do we want to surprise them? Sylvanas is not with us though, guys. Nice, that was early. That was a really early kill here. Get the immortal and win. They have Li Ming at defending, so yeah, just go for the immortal and win. Arthas was very low, and I'm not a great AoE healer, so I think this is the safer way to go about it. And with this immortal, we will win 100%. Like, we will have Sudragosa probably up by then, we will have Sylvanas. Yeah, I think this is the safer way to do it. Also, there was no decisive call, right? Nobody gave a decisive call where to go. So, take the safer route when there's no decisive call. I mean, when you're not in the game and when you're watching the stream, you could probably be like, Oh my god, that would've been so safe. But, uh, as long as our team is operating as a one-man unit, then uh, we will probably win the game. Take the mana, yep. Alright. And a full HP, full shield immortal. That's very, very good. With Savannah's and the Cinderagosa. Do we have Cinderagosa ready? Soon. Just make sure to not get caught by Zero Tool now. Or we should be alright. The enemies will try to engage very soon, otherwise, they will lose the game and they know that. Stay behind Johanna now. Especially the Savannah's needs protection now. So, Vanus, you need to disable the buildings. Okay, Sundragosa. Here she comes. Nice silence. I got your back, dude! Here we go, guys. This is our time to win. Get the laser. And Rippy! Well played, everybody. GG, well played. Um, both teams, I think, at equal skill level. Both teams at points knew exactly what to do. Both teams had their moments of glory. And it was just that in the end, I think we were much better prepared for what the enemies had in store. They were always trying to flank us, always trying to go for that uh, Void Prison Apocalypse combo. So, um, yeah, big shout out to everybody. It was not easy to adjust, but through the course of the game, we managed to adjust. So thank you very much for your excellent performance. And uh, yeah, hope you enjoyed this game, guys. And, uh, 